water signs welcome to your flash love reading this reading is designed to give you some insight into what your person is feeling and thinking about you in their heart space um yeah so we're gonna jump right into it love and light remember that time and energy are fluid feel free to reverse the roles however it's resonating for you but like i said the intentions are to get into the energy of your person's heart space um and go from there Okay, we're going to draw a card and then we're going to clarify it. Try to keep the reading under 10 minutes. Um, just like a love check-in, a love um, pop-up reading. Um, and yeah, so... Flash love reading for the water signs. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. Can we get one card uh, that represents... Um, how water signs person feel about them during this period. One card for water signs person, please. One card for water signs person. Okay. Okay, water signs. Um, the cards represent your person. We have the three of swords, all right? So your person is feeling betrayed, deceived, dealing with some type of grief or heartbreak, um, or your person could be the culprit of these actions during this period but um this three of swords definitely could indicate a third party situation so we're going to clarify this but your person could have um could be blocked from you because of a third party or your person could be leaving um, someone that they left you for, okay? Either way, I'm getting, you know, three here. Um, but outside of a relationship, this definitely could be um, dealing with some type of loss that's affecting um, how they are interacting with you right now so three of swords is air energy okay um definitely libra so your person could definitely be a libra um or any of the air signs your person could also be dealing with some type of injustice and involving love or involving their um connection to you all right so Let's go ahead and clarify this energy for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have four of pentacles, okay, or sacred circles. Four of pentacles in reverse. The four of pentacles in reverse is Capricorn energy and um, more earth. So, Your person could have, you know, air in their chart, earth in their chart. With the Three of Swords, um, you definitely could be dealing with someone who has Mercury in Libra or Sun in Libra. But with this Four of Pentacles here, your person could have... Sun in Taurus or Moon in Taurus, but any of the Earth signs, but that's what's coming through. Um, with this Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, it is letting me know that your person could be dealing with some financial losses. Um, your person is definitely releasing something okay, that has 
placed a restriction on their life, on their finances, on anything that's tangible, okay? Pentacles or anything that is tangible. Um, nouns, basically. Um, persons, places, or things. Um, love, money, material, um, possessions, okay? So your person... And in this card, there's definitely um, an image of someone who is, you know, dealing in some type of manifestation or um, some type of, type of sacred ritual. Um, your person definitely could be, you know, doing a lot of smoking if they partake in weed or something of that nature. Could be smoking, um, dealing with a lot of heartbreak, um, leaving a third party situation in their head about you and they're smoking a lot, they're in their fields. Um, your person could definitely um, be spiritual. Um, they could definitely be trying to manifest some type of situation with you. But with the four of pentacles, this is the indication um, that they could be in a third party with the Capricorn. Um, and when I said uh, they could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, sun or moon, I definitely meant Capricorn, sun or moon with this um, um, four pentacles. But any of the earth signs for sure. Um, they could be literally walking away from a third party situation where um, the person that they're involved with is very materialistic. They could have lost a lot of money. Um, and they're just focusing on building their stability and getting secure and, you know, trying to improve their life, you know, in order to make a move. But your person is very distrustful right now in love and, um, there's a little bit of instability going on here, a lack of control, um, they do feel as though they have to secure themselves financially um, first in order to feel comfortable making any type of moves toward you. <clears throat> Again, I'm getting Capricorn, um, Taurus, and uh, Libra energy here really strongly. But your person seems to be dealing with some type of heartbreak. It doesn't look as though if they're leaving a third party that they are surprised about it. It feels as if it was a progressive thing, um, but they are still not stable. If your person is, if you're in a committed relationship with your person, then there definitely could be some type of legal issues going on. There could be some type of um, outside relationships or extramarital or you know if you're not married just something going on in terms of betrayal or deception um greed legal battles legal issues all right but it's very um it's a lot going on in terms of entitlement issues or something of that nature so we're going to clarify um this three of swords to see what else is going on with your person we have the ten of cups so uh your person is in their feelings um they have a lot of love for you they are overwhelmed they they see their blessings they know where their heart is, where their emotions are. Your person is very, very emotional right now. Um, whatever's going on with this betrayal or if this is a third party situation that they're leaving, um, they're not surprised by it. There was a lot of four pentacles in reverse, greed, deception, and um, materialism going on in the situation. And... Um, your person sees where their heart is, but 
there is some healing that needs to be done in order for them to act on these feelings, on this wish fulfillment. Um, there's a lot of emotions here, okay? This is Pisces energy or water. Um, a lot of love in their heart for you. What else? Um, clarify the Three of Swords, please. Eight of Wands. Um, but yeah, they feel blocked. Um, they are having a difficult time communicating um, about what they've been going through. Um, they may feel some type of guilt. Um, foolish, you know, about a choice they made, um, choosing someone over you. Or if they're with you, um, there's definitely this, there's a lot of love there, but there is a wall up in terms of communication. There's a lot of frustration. Um, your person may be blocked by you because of the choices that they made in the past because of some type of betrayal um, that they have put you through in the past. Um, they see you as their heart, but they feel blocked by you. Um, yeah, you could be a Sagittarius, or have Sagittarius in your chart, or your person could have Sagittarius in their chart with the Eight of Wands here, or fire, okay? But yeah, there's definitely um, someone is blocked online, someone is blocked in real life, someone can't communicate, a lot of frustrations, a lot of anger here, but there's a lot of love too. It's like a love-hate thing going on here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, okay, water signs? Um, so your person definitely um could be a fire sign okay um Sagittarius for sure um Pisces for sure Libra for sure but those are the energies that are coming through um your person could be someone who is uh, very intuitive or um a leader in some way or your person could um definitely see you as someone who is um very much passionate and um very attractive beguiling um someone who they cannot stop thinking about someone who is um very creative and um they have a lot of passion a lot of love for you but they see you possibly as um being focused on business or career they really really love you but they they feel blocked they want you to unblock them they want you to um save them from being out in the cold um but they're dealing with some lack issues right now they're recovering from some type of um situation that they've gotten themselves into um they're working on it but there's gonna be um some barriers to to cross with this person okay water signs so that is your energy if you feel like this is your person or you're reading feel free to contact me um youtube patreon instagram about getting a personal reading look deeper into the situation um and um so that's all i have for you uh love and light to you all and um take care bye